Shaboy boy, ah ah ah. Shaboy boy, ah ah ah. Ah ah ah. Ah ah ah. Zama 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 zama. Dan dan dan. What's going on, you are I'm Moutera, my Moutera night. Yeah, and I'm the ghetto queen on this YouTube scene, keeping it awesome man, with the gangster lane guru. And I'm here to talk to you about Ruth House Drag Race All Stars Season Cinco. Right. Now, let me give you a little backstory, guru, because I could be quite honest. Yeah, I'm usually quite honest. I never watched RuPaul's Drag Race. You know, I was always wondering, girl, who these boys are, what they trying to accomplish. But season 12 got me a little excited and curious because my bad bitch Nicki Minaj was on RuPaul's Drag Race season 12. That's Dose and Espanola, just in case you didn't know it. Girl, and you know, I'm not a barb, but I like me some Nicki Minaj. I like what she be giving when she be giving it. Right? So I'm like, okay, let me tune in or whatever to what RuPaul been doing for 12 fucking seasons, girl. And you know, to be quite honest, I really liked it. I really did. I was like, oh, wow, this is some, you know, this is real entertainment. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Before I get all into my review, girl, I have to remind y'all who I am just in case y'all forgot. I'm Mel Teddy. Mel, Mel Teddy now. Ow. Right. And, you know, I had to the poll on my Twitter feeds. And, you know, I was asking if I should do, you know, reviews of RuPaul's Drag Race. And y'all was like, yeah, you should do it. So, we'll see how this go. Because y'all been a little stingy with the views. So, if y'all give me some views on this video and some likes on this video, I'll come back for the next episode. But, anyways, going back to season dose. I have to say, I walked away from that season with some favorites. I like me some Widow Von Zoo. Girl, she was a little hypersensitive and a little bit insecure. You know, midway in, girl. She had lost all her steam, girl. She wasn't steam. She was like, whew, you know, but I still like me some Widow Von Zoo because she be coming out with these music videos and the music videos be looking KU girl. So Widow Von Zoo, do your motherfucking thing. And I also was feeling um, hiding it, hiding in the closet. I like the name, although RuPaul ain't really like your name, girl. You're not, your name, I like your name, girl. It's, it's, um... Clever, right. Um, and you know, I had to get past the little gap or whatever, little highway gap she had in there. It was like highway. You know, I had to get past that. But she was cute or whatever. Once she figured out how to put on makeup, she was real good. And I really liked her. Mm-hmm. But y'all know my bitch. Y'all already know who my bitch is. My bitches of all bitches is Jada S's. <laughs> that every runway, she was flawed to the list. And she was super talented in everything that they did. The acting thing that they did, the little dance numbers and all that. She was giving all of what she needed to give. Especially in the season finale when she came through with the crown on the head. Did the little head thing. Girl, girl, I like me some Jada's essence. Hood. But I don't want y'all to think that I'm only for the blacks. Although black lives do matter. They really the motherfucking too. And we ain't even about to have that conversation right now. But, you know, I was feeling Gigi good. Hello, bony ass. She was cute. Um, who else was I feeling when the uh, I liked a lot of the girls. I liked a lot of the girls. Um, who was the girl that, um, uh, Jackie Cox. I liked her. Um, you know, I always had a, I always had a thing about the word Cox. I always had, I'm like, girl. But Jackie always gave me, like, um, you know, fragrant fish. She always gave me, like, real, like, perfume-smelling fish. Always. I liked me some Jackie Cox. But all the girl, a lot of the girls on there was talented. Crystal Method. Girl, she a hot mess. But I know I would have fun with her. I love me some Crystal Method, too. The top three deserved to be the top three. So I was spilling it. But, move a little look, move a little look past that one. So, season dose got me hooked. So, I'm, I'm a RuPaul, RuPaul's Drag Race all the way down. Right? All the way down. So, of course, I had to get into the All-Stars stuff. I couldn't watch, I can't watch the celebrities. I couldn't watch the celebrities. That was a little bonk for me. The celebrity thing was whack and boring. But... 
I like Bob the Builder though. Wait, that's her name? Bob, no, Bob the Drag Queen. I like her. She cute. Um, right. But I, I was like, okay, let me watch All Stars. You know, this is like, um, what's the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, when you when you try to come back and this is like the redemption season. So it should say All Star Redemptions or these bitches trying to redeem themselves. That's what it should say. Cause to me, am I am I you know? Aren't these all the bitches that like lost and didn't win? And so they all, I don't know who started of all. I don't know. But let me, let me run with the lineup. Cause I'm a little, maybe y'all can get me up to breast. Cause I'm a little, I'm a little off, off kilter. Hold on one second. Okay. So yeah, like, like, like I was saying, like they not really stars of all. You know what I'm saying? They like fucked up. They season, and we giving them another shot. So I mean, am I wrong? I don't think I am. But let's run through the lineup. Because these some they still some cute bitches. Some of them are bad, and some of them are cute. And then some of them are, girl, why they brought her back? But anyways, I mean, let's dig deep. All right, so we have Alexis Mateo. She from season three, third place. All Stars won. She was fifth place and sixth place. Um... Okay. Uh, Blair St. Clair, season 10, ninth place. Derek Berry, season 8, fifth place. India Farah, season 3, tenth place. Um, Juju B, season 2, third place. All Star Ones, third, fourth place. Mariah Balenciaga, what? Season 3, ninth place. Mayhem Miller, season 10, tenth place. Ms. Cracker, season 10, fifth place. Angina, season one, fifth place. And Shea kool season nine, third, fourth place. Okay. Okay. So, you know, all these bras have their little entrances or whatever, and I'm like, okay, like, who uh, ST? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hold on, where we go with this? Because some of their outfits was a little bait. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, all right, we're going to give these stars of all another shot because it's the redemption season. But then, you know, um, let me make sure I'm getting the names right. Juju B. I vibed for her when she came through. I was giving it. I was. She was giving it, and I was giving it back. And I was liking how she was reading bitches. It was so cute how she did. Like you know how the coffee run out on the end, whatever that line she had. She was reading bitches. I was here for it. Shea Kool Aid. I was here for it. Her face be looking a little hard for me. Like it be looking like real hard. I be wanting her like to soften up a little bit. But I'm here for Shea Kool Aid. I'm here for her. Angina came through looking like a Christmas ornament. I was like, girl, it's a little extra, girl. 11 years ago, that would have been KU, but now let's minimalize this. Let's minimalize this, girl. She was giving people hugs, and I was like, girl, she wouldn't have been able to hug me. You know what I'm saying? Like, Shea Kool-Aid said, ooh, my eye. Right, I would have said the same thing. But Angina sound like vagina. I don't know if that's where her name come from, but Miss Cracker, she cute. But in the time we in right now, I'm gonna need her to take Cracker out her out her name. I'm gonna need her to we gonna need her to switch that up, Miss Cracker. We gonna need we we gonna need her to switch that up. But she was cute though, Mariah Balenciaga. Girl, she was giving me all I needed. She was giving me all I needed. Alexis Mateo, same thing, giving me all I needed. Um, India Farah, she was cute. She was all right. Derek Berry, so here's my problem with this girl. Because I'm like, how she come on looking like, you know, Britney Spears in her heyday. But then come on talking about she don't want to do Britney Spears no more. I mean, if y'all want to do Britney Spears no more, bitch, why the fuck you coming on doing Britney Spears? I can understand it. I can. I was lost. I was lost. I was lost. I was lost. How she come on talking about it's Barry, bitch. Whatever she said, hit the knee, did the new Britney knee thing, you know, when she was going down on Justin Timberlake, the knee thing. And I'm like, girl, 
Girl, miss me with all that. Girl, miss me with all that. Cause girl, girl, miss me with all of that. I can understand how. Oh, I, I wanna, I wanna show the world that I can do more than Britney Spears. But she come out giving Britney. Where we do that at? RuPaul's Drag Race season five of the stars that are all right. Girl, I was miss me with all that. So all the girls get acquainted or whatever have you. RuPaul bring her ass out, and you know. I'm like, you know, I love RuPaul, but girl, she be trying it sometimes. So she came out or whatever. Then she had a nerve to bring out old ass Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin is cute, but he look old cute. Like, you know, when Ricky Martin came up on that stage, I want to say it was the Grammy stage or the MTV stage. One of them dusty stages. And he came out and blew us away, blew America away, and was like the hottest thing since sliced bread. He was fine as hell then. Even with that big ass nose, he was fine. But now he looking like he I, he been through a lot in life. You know, he that cute. He that, he been through a lot in life. Cute. You know what I'm saying? He still got that big ass nose. But you know, Ricky Martin could get it in the dark. But like, no, he could really like, like I really get it in the, in the dark though. But he cute in an older way. So they come out and they do this little, um, this little, like, janky, like, Espanole competition read thing or whatever. And they slapping each other. I'm like, this corny. This, this too, this, this too corny for me. Let's move a little, look, move a little, look past that one. So all the girls get out and they read, bitches. So I have to tell you, Aunt China was real poor. But when Miss Britney Spears came out and read India Farrah for filth, talking about her teeth look like piranha, girl, I lost it. You felt all that strength from the back of her throat because she was like, I'm not here for you, sis. Ah, ooh, ah. Girl, and all the girls was gigging. Nah. All the girls was gigging. Nah. All the girls was what? Nah. That's a new song, bitch. Let me copyright her. But, you know, B Derek Blanks, I mean, not Derek Blanks, B uh, Derry Berry, B Britney Spears, Red Farrah for life. Yes, she did, and gave her nothing but, nothing but death. Gave, right. Juju B was cool. I liked her read. Um, Blair St. Clair, that's her name. Girl, she read for filth. I liked her. So I was vibing with the whole tie situation. I was vibing with the tie. I really was. I thought that was cute. India Farrah read bitches too. She was reading bitches. So I thought that was cute or whatever. So we get past that. Move a little lower. Move a little lower past that one. We get to the makeup. They put on their makeup. They getting did up or whatever to have you. And then, you know, before that, though, all the girls was like, oh, so who you like? Who you don't like? What? Y'all have problems? What? What happened? Why you don't like De uh, Britney Spears? Why you don't like Farrah or whatever the case may be? So I'm like, girl, whatever. They put on their makeup and then shit comes out the bag. The cat is out the bag or whatever. Ram, ram. And they're like, oh, you shouldn't have called her a pig in a blanket. Oh, you shouldn't have put me in your song and talked about me. I'm like, these some bitches. These some real bitches. But at the end of the day, who winning the challenge? Like, that's what I'm caring about. Girl, miss me with all this, this catty bullshit going on. Miss me with all of that. So they get to the one woman show or whatever and which by the way, I need to go on this world tour, this little tour thing that they do. I need to go on her because she look like she be beat. So they all did their little one woman tour thing or whatever, they performance or whatever. Shay Kool-Aid, she was alright. She was alright. It was alright. I would have preferred real money being, you know, thrown my way. Like that would have that would have boosted up the performance. But it was like red construction paper being thrown. And I was just not here for that. I don't know if it was supposed to represent the red petals <laughs> that haunts her dreams since she lost that particular season. I don't know. But I would have rather the green money, but Shea kool -Aid, she was cool or whatever. She did what she needed to do. She did what she needed to do. Um, girl, Derek Blanks, why I keep calling her Britney Spears, bombed. Tank. Donald Trump. All the wrong stuff that's all in the world was that performance. I 
I did not not understand that one interpretation impersonation she did. And if like they said, if they wouldn't have called, if she wouldn't have called out the name, I wouldn't have thought it. And I still didn't get it after she called out the names. It was trash. Mayhem Mila, she started off strong with them eyeballs. I was like, what's going on? But then when she stood up. Girl, she was speaking a whole new alien language. I did not know it. And I was like, where the subtitles at? Because I don't know what the fuck she's saying. I couldn't understand what was going on. Balenciaga. Mariah Balenciaga. Girl, when she came out and she was putting her period juice on the screen. She was putting her period juice on the window. Girl, I was all here for it. And she had this like poetic justice poem. I was I was here for all of it. I was here for I was fight the power says with your period juice. I was here for all of it, girl. And then um Alexis Mateo, she did good. I liked her. I really did. I really did. But for me, if I had to say who would have won, Juju B would have won that. Because she gave authentic, real performance and it was real cute. The top three, top three would have been Mariah Balenciaga with the period juice. Um, Juju B and um let me look at let me look at this. Um I liked Miss Cracker and I liked um Alexis Mateo. I liked them. But India Fair won. And I didn't have a problem with that. But bitch, things got a little hurry when um, you know, when um girl when when the um when the uh, gag came out and you know, RuPaul was like, there's only gonna be one winner this season, not two. And that winner's gonna be responsible for picking the bottom. Um, and everybody gets to pick the bottom, or whatever the case may be. And we're gonna have this uh, uh, lip sync assassin come through, and all this extra shit. And I'm like, girl, this is real extra, but I'm feeling her all day long. So the bottom two ends up being Mayhem Miller and Britney Spears wannabe. And so they got a campaign, they write to stay in the house. Girl, Britney Spears need to go. There's no discussion. You know, Britney Spears having to suck on um, India Farrah's toes to um, try to stay in the house. But I'm like, girl, you going, girl. You going. Oops, you did it again, bitch. You going. Chopped. Girl, so then um, this freaky looking uh, girl came out. The assassin, she was freaky looking. It was something real off kilter for me about her. She was like real off. But... She slayed the lip sync assassin, took the power from India Fera, and it was revealed that Britney Spears was going home. I was here for all of it. I was here for all of it. To be quite honest, I'm really feeling RuPaul's Drag Race. I mean, I'm not a drag nor a race. You know, I'm 100% woman or day long. What? If y'all don't see it, I don't know what the fuck y'all looking at. But it's cute to see the dudes up here trying to be fish or whatever, and and some of them doing real well, like Jada says this whore, and some of them feeling miserably like, oops, she did it again, Britney Spears wannabe. But anyway, let me know what y'all thought about this particular episode. I thought it was KU. What did y'all think? That, follow me on Twitter, Team Mona Simone, bitch, I like you know, okay? And, uh, yeah, go to aconnectiontv.com and subscribe to that because it's the miniature Netflix. What? And we moving, y'all. A Connection TV is moving to a different, bigger location. So, excuse me for sitting in this raggedy-ass chair Wesley be sitting in when he be doing his videos. But, you know, I had to cut him some slack because he moving to studios. But, anyway, love you. Later! Ooh, ooh, uh, uh, I know y'all not about to think about not subscribing to aconnectiontv.com. Copyrighted.